We're reading today from uh, Norman Vincent Peale book. It's an oldie. Wow. Look at that. It's been around. Mm -hmm. But there's a section in here called Spirit Lifters. And this is what it says about uh, to lift your spirits. One of the most rewarding techniques is how to control anger. Admittedly, getting mad is something in which no wise person indulges because of its bad effect upon him and his harmful result, results in personal relations. So the penalty you pay for getting angry and blowing up, it affects you and also the person that you're living with. Now, but beyond this anger is a depressant of the spirit. It's, it's a depressant of the spirit when you get angry. So much energy is ex expended in violent anger that one is quite spent when the storm passes. Yeah, have you ever been angry and then you, you, after it passes, you cool down and you think, oh man, did I say that? The after effect is usually one of despondency and lifelessness. You're just spent because you blew up and got angry. Anger that is less violent but which simmers and seethes is more depressing because it permits a constant leakage of energy. It leaks all your energy out of you. Hmm. Fortunately, there is a very difficult method for correcting the condition. So here's a, here's a, a promise coming down the road. It requires practice. But once you acquire this skill, you will be amazed at the self-control it gives. Hmm. Here's a, a, in Proverbs 15, 1, it says, A soft answer turneth away wrath. Grievous words stir up anger. So watch your words. Sift your words and don't stir up anger. The next time you feel angry, rise and repeat this verse several times and note the effect. It is a golden key to successful human relations and one of the best spirit lifters. The scripture says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. So be careful about what we speak, the words we speak. It stirs, if it stirs up anger, it's not good. Thank you.